But wait, I don't understand. Let's take the girl with a heart condition, for example. Neither one of her parents have the same condition, so how can they be responsible if they don't share the same trait? Well, one of the big discoveries that I picked up on is that living organisms have two copies of every gene. And though these copies can be different from each other, only one manifests itself as a trait in a certain generation. Let's use our deck of playing cards as an example. Let's imagine that each parent has two playing cards each. A six of hearts, which correlates with a normal functioning heart, and an ace, which can cause the abnormal heart condition. Even though one of the copies in the pair causes the heart condition, it's hidden as long as the other copy has normal function. So the parent appears to have normal heart function, even though they have one normal copy and one abnormal copy. When the parents have a child, each parent randomly passes on one of the cards. As long as the child ends up with at least one number card, she'll have normal heart function. But if she ends up with two aces, she'll suffer from that abnormal heart condition. So see if you can figure out how many total possible combinations there are if these two parents have a child, and how many combinations would result in the heart condition.